Hey guitar players, how's it going? My name is Christian Ross and today I'm going to show you how to play the A major open chord. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make the chord first and then we'll go into some details about the chord. You're going to learn more than you ever thought you needed to know about the A major open chord. Alright, so let's jump into it. First of all, I'm going to talk to you uh, and make this chord sort of like the game Battleship, okay? So we're going to use, uh, the we're going to count our fingers here as, of course, thumb, index, middle, ring, and pinky. Okay, so I'm going to call out one of those fingers and then I'm going to call out a string number and then a fret number. Okay, so on the guitar, the strings from the high to low or bottom to top are string one, string two, string three, string four, string five, and string six. Okay, so six strings start from the highest string. Okay, and then these are our frets as always one, two, three, four, and so forth. Okay. So the first note that we're gonna play, we're gonna use our index finger, okay? So we're gonna take your index finger, your pointer finger, we're gonna put it on string four, fret two, okay? So we'll count up the frets, one, two, okay? So we're gonna be on this fret. All right, let's count our strings. One, two, three, four, okay? So this is where we're gonna put our pointer finger, okay? Now, the trick is you want the pointer finger to be as close to the front of the fret as it can be without being right on top of the fret. Now, with the A chord, because of where our fingers are gonna sit, we're gonna need to adjust that a little bit, but we'll get there in a second. Okay, so our second finger is gonna be our middle finger, okay? So your middle finger is gonna go on string three, fret two, okay? So we'll count one, two, all right? One, two, three, string three. So it's gonna go right underneath the pointer finger, all right? So of course, we've had to move that pointer finger back just a little bit to make room for the middle finger, but we still don't want it back too far because then it's gonna fret out and it's gonna sound like this. All right, we want a nice tone just like that, okay? So try to keep it as close to the front of the fret as you can get without being right on top of it. All right, our next finger is gonna be our ring finger, okay? This one right before the, the pinky. All right, so we're gonna count one, two, second fret, all right? And then we're gonna go string two, fret two, all right? So string one, string two, and this is fret two, so it's gonna go right underneath. You'll notice all three fingers right now are on fret two, that's perfect. All right, so now we've had to adjust our pointer finger and our middle finger to make room for our ring finger, okay? So at first, pointer was way up here at the front of the fret, which is great, we had great tone. Then we had to scoot it back a little bit to make room for your middle finger. Still great tone, all right? So your ring finger is now gonna go right underneath that. All right, we still have great tone, even though we've had to scoot our fingers back a little bit, we're still as close as we can get. See how, how close my fingers are together? If your fingers look like that, then it's perfect. And also, you want your fingers coming straight off the fretboard, just like that. You don't want them laying down, Otherwise, it's gonna fret out the strings, okay? You want them coming right off the fretboard. All right, that's perfect. All right, now, the way that we wanna strum this chord is we wanna strum from the fifth string down, okay? Our fifth string is the root note of A, okay? So I'm tuned into E standard tuning. I should've told you that at first. I'm in E standard. You might not know this, but in guitar, you can tune to Many, 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 many different kinds of tunings. Open D, open E, drop D, uh, drop C, drop A if you're listening to corn. Uh, but we're gonna be the most standard tuning, of course, is why it's called standard E tuning or E standard tuning is what we're tuned in today, okay? So the, the strings, that's why we count them as numbers is because the string numbers are never gonna change. But the string names, as in letters, will change depending on what tuning you're in. So, in E standard tuning, this is an A note, your root note. Actually, if you were in a different tuning, this chord shape might sound totally different. It might not even sound good. So, these are all chord shapes in E standard tuning. So, the fifth string is an A. Okay, let's make our shape. If you haven't, if you let go of it, we're gonna be index finger, string two, string four, fret two. Middle finger, string three, fret two. Ring finger, string two, fret two. Okay, then we're gonna take, let's, let's play with our thumb. Okay, take your thumb. We're gonna go string five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, right here. 
Now you're gonna push down and squeeze with your left hand. Squeeze it nice and tight so that all the strings are pushed down. And we're gonna just strum. great. Now, if yours fretted out a little bit or sounded like this, all right, that's a common thing when you're learning this chord, okay? So try not to get too frustrated at it. You will get it, I promise. Uh, like I said, I learned this chord when I was about five or six years old, and it took me a minute. Uh, there was some times of frustration, but I promise you, you will get it, okay? So if you're hearing that, if it's fretting out, like that, there's a couple of things you want to do. First, you want to make sure that your fingers, again, are as close to the front of the fret as possible. Okay, so if they're back here, or looking all kinds of weird like this, or if they look like that, then, you know, just make the adjustment. You want to scoot it up to the front of the fret, okay, without being right on top of it. And when I say right on top of it, I mean right on top of this silver piece here. That's the actual fret, okay? The space in between is where we put our fingers. Okay, so you want to be right at the front. Okay, if it's like this, then curve your hand over so that your, your fingers are nice and close together, okay? Then secondly, you wanna squeeze, okay? Think crab claw, all right? Just pinch, pinch and squeeze, all right? Make sure your fingers are coming right off the, the, the fretboard, straight off, not leaning like this. That will contribute to fretting out. Okay, and lastly, make sure that your ring finger isn't covering up string one. You want string one to be open when you play, okay? So, it might be a little difficult for you to see it. Let me see if I can get over here. Okay. See how there's room? Okay. So those are a few things that you can try to get the chord sounding uh, really clean and really crisp. Okay, so again, strumming from string five down. All right, so if you've got that, that's the A major open chord, how you play it, where you put your fingers. Okay, there's gonna be references for the chord shape uh, down in right above the comments. So make sure that you get that. All right, guys, let's talk about the A major chord. What makes up the A major chord? Why we're putting our fingers on the fretboard where we are, and where are some other places on the fretboard where we can play the A major chord. So first of all, A major comes from three different notes that create a major triad, okay? Those notes are A, C sharp, and E, okay? A, C sharp, and E. So these come from the A major scale, pretty much. Everything comes from the major scale. And so what we're doing is we're taking the first note, the third note, and the fifth note of the scale and making this major triad, okay? So our first note in the chord, where we're playing it in this open chord, is gonna be the root note A, okay? So we got that A, the root note of A is A, or the central tone. All right, the second note that we're gonna play in this open shape is E. Okay, so that is the one where your pointer finger is on string four, fret two. All right, so we've got A and E. A, E, K. Our third note is gonna be A again. It's gonna repeat. So what you're seeing here is an octave. So an A, and then a higher A, the next octave up. An octave is basically the eighth note of the scale. So a scale, a major scale, consists of seven notes, and then the eighth note is a repeat of the root note, which is called the octave. Okay? Okay. Now, our fourth note is going to be our C sharp. So I'll show you right here. Here's a C sharp. And so our fourth note up is going to be a C sharp, okay? So that's right here. A, E, A, C sharp. Okay, and our last note is going to be a repeat of the E. All right, so what's happening here? Why are we having notes that repeat? Well, guitar is like a matrix, okay? 
So on a piano, a piano is linear or side to side. So you see all the notes from left to right or right to left. And so when you're playing an A major triad with your right hand on a piano, you would play three notes, right? You play A, C sharp, and E. And that would make up your A major triad. Now you have two other options for that with your right hand uh, that are called inversions, okay? On guitar, guitar is like a matrix. So you can play linear, left to right, up and down, or diagonal. So what's happening here is these notes are repeating. We have six strings and we're playing five of them on this A major open chord, okay? So again, A, E, A, C sharp, E. All right, hope that makes sense. All right, some other places that we can play A, we're gonna go all the way up to the next octave on the guitar. Remember an octave is the eighth note of the scale. So the scale is made up of seven notes. Okay, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're wanting it to resolve right now to the octave. A. Okay, so here's a root note right here. This is A. Now another place we can go is the octave, the octave of A, so here's A here, so what this is, this is exactly the same as what we played down there. This, this uh, fret here, this fret here, the twelfth fret, is an octave of just playing open. So if this is A, the 12th fret is also the A, okay? So then we could also play just like we played up there. Or you could play like this. Sounds pretty cool. All right, so now we've had three places where we can play A. There's some other places here. You could play a shape like this. You could play a shape like this. You could play a shape like this. Like this. Like this. Okay? So there's lots of ways that you can play A. Some of those in there were actually different inversions or different uh, phrasings or parts of the A major chord with different elements involved. But you can play A all over <laughs> the fretboard. Really what you want to look for is the root notes, okay? And when you find those, you can play all over the place and just have a blast doing it. So, Well, I hope this video helped you today. And if so, please subscribe to my channel. I have all kinds of videos and videos coming out all the time. Tell your friends and as always, keep playing and I'll see you out there on stage.